Which I think is, holiday is uh, Maury Yeston's adaptation of an old Italian play. Where it tells the story of uh, death arriving uh, to a house in northern Italy set in the 1920s. Uh, and it's about death taking human form to experience why human beings are so fascinated with life and so fearful of death. I play Death, uh, who also in turn becomes a character called Prince Serki. So it's about death literally taking a break from killing. Grazia, the show opens and she is thrown from a car and has a near experience with death. And for my character, it's the battle between the dichotomy of her being surrounded by life, yet the only thing that makes her feel alive is death and where that takes her. The most famous adaptation, I suppose, of Death Takes a Holiday is the uh, Brad Pitt and Anthony Hopkins version called Meet Joe Black. Uh, I can't stress enough, though, how that sort of uses the story as inspiration but does not really stick wholly to the original text, where Maury Yeston uh, and Peter Stone and Tom Meehan's version of the tale is much more akin to the original Italian version and, and asks so many fundamental questions under the wonderful guise of uh, musical theatre entertainment. The show takes place post-World War I. Uh, in a time where death has been seeing so many lives uh, unnecessarily lost. Directly following World War I, he finds this one particular life uh, that is special to him, that he feels like he can't take it for one reason or another that you'll find out during the, during the show, um, but that he has to literally pause uh, from killing because of experiencing this sort of innocence, this purity of a soul. I adore Maury Essen's scores and Maury Essen's music and the way that he can completely and utterly transcend time, place and emotion by playing a simple chord on a piano. And any work that he has written, I am desperate to direct. I think it's a wonderful, witty, uh, black comedy. It's very quirky. It's a rather fascinating story. It's not really like anything else I can think of. I think it promises to deliver on all kinds of levels. It, it addresses the subject of eternity and uh, full-blown romance and the exotic locale and, of course, some great humour, we trust. From the very, very outset, from the beginning of the show, you are swept up, as you were with Titanic and as you were with every other Maury Essen show. You're swept up into this world which is so exciting that I defy anybody to come and not be entertained and moved by this show.